finals rugby, maybe a little pregame jitters. You're finding your space here. Table here. Knocking the ball on, but it's all to play for. This is the final show as Reese puts the ball in and Cal pushing the life pack. And here we go, Reese, the dummy to the outside. Nice step back inside for the captain, Wilson. He's got support. That's number seven, Justin Johnson. And life now at Cal 22. Was it off the boot? Picture I saw was off the foot of green 15. Player behind comes through, picks it up, grounds it. First try. Is there anything different? No. Thank you. And the try is awarded. Last year's champions, Life University, gets on the board first in Santa Clara. Doing so, their flank had got held in a little bit. It caused this space. Wilson could have perhaps given that one for the easier try, but they keep going. The cow player stops, think there's an, thinks there's an infraction, and we just see here. As it does, I think, come off Wilson's foot, and then it's grounded by a life player. Um, so if the ball had come off his hand, it would have been a knock-on. It's deemed off his foot. Manzo nails his jumper. Poon to Walsh to Andrade the first phase, and he's hit hard. Most of the possession and territory so far. Just unable to get the points. And Life gets the ball, and Wheeler into the middle. Hard run meets the freshman Walsh. And they go to work. Nice inside ball to the number 11, Julian Robert. Bears ball down, push ball him back. Down. Somehow they get the ball out of the Van Skullfeig out to the captain. Nice spin. Spin pass out to the side. The ball back inside to the captain, Wilson. Thank you for joining us here. And again, another great throw by Montanga. And the live running Eagles are going to work in the mall just outside the Bears 22. Yes, they're getting the ball going even with seven guys compared to Cal's eight. So, and got the penalty advantage, so now they've got almost a free play to experiment and see if they can get a try. And the Eagles are going to work here, and they keep on driving. A tight forward unit cannot be stopped. And the Bears are just going backwards as even a man down, the Eagles driving forward. Can the Bears stop the Eagles? And again, we've got five minutes left on the yellow card for the running Eagles. They're a man down, getting close to the bear try line here. And that's exactly what the Eagles needed to do. Well, that was a huge momentum shift. We saw it. They just conceded the try. And now the Eagles going through the phases on the try line. Big hit. Coming in there and counter rock. Reese with the ball. The pitch back to Julian Montez. Reese, the outside, the skip back to Van Scott And on the outside, it's Julian Roberts. Life University. Scores the try for the life running Eagles with eight minutes left to play. And what a passage of play from the running Eagles with the man down. The Bears threatening, five meters out. The dummy pass on the inside looks like Andrade, the 12, is finding some forward action in there. And four-minute scrum off came into his old position to try and get in. The Bears now at the try line looking for Painter. Five minutes left in this first half. Now only inches away and going through the phases. The forwards trying to do it once again. Life, big hits coming in. Just razor-thin margins on the goal line. Setting up beachheads. The ball in the back. The Bears going to work. Poon to Walsh. Walsh the dummy, the fend. He gets met by three Eagle defenders. Cal had numbers wide there. Perhaps the opportunity, if the ball had been moved, could have scored out wide. An opportunity wanting with that dummy and a step back inside. Could have let that thing go, but the Bears back at work in front of the sticks. This is the engine room, ladies and gentlemen, where the big boys go to work. They battle it out. Muscle on muscle, bone on bone, who wants it more? This is what squats are for. Here we go, the Bears and the Eagles. And Damon Widely getting a shove on. The Eagles, defensive line holding strong, keeping the Bears out. How many phases can they go? Diving in and we're gonna blow up from the referee. And it's a knock-on 
The Lions run the Eagles, and their defensive stand keeps the Bears out. Can the Eagles push back? And here they hold firm. And the running Eagles get a solid platform and a great ball out to Van Skalkvike. The pass out to the captain. Quick hands out to the corner. Great run on the sideline. Yeah, so Cal clearly expecting a counter kick, uh, an exit kick from Life. Life deciding to pull in the four at the backs um, and then exit on the next phase. And Troy Locke here out the back. He's looking at the corners. He kicks it right to the captain, Mitchell Wilson, and all day long to get his feet underneath them, but stuck by Troy Locke here. And Life has the ball back with 42 seconds left to play in this first half. Life looking just maintain possession here. Reese out the back of the ruck. Pushed back to Von Skalkvike. He puts that ball up. Lockyer out the back. A bad bounce. Bears colliding with one another out the back trying to field this kick. And a great counter ruck from the Eagles. Looked like Justin Johnson getting in the middle of there and pushing over some Bears. The ball outside of the tackle to Lockyer. Lockyer getting hit on the inside. That's Nike Roberts. Oh, and a big hit on the inside as Pooh was, was wagging the dummy. We've got the second half coming up here. I'm in the booth, Colin Holly, with USA 7's captain, Madison Hughes. And Madison, what do you think is going to happen in this second half? I mean, both teams giving as good as they get. Cal had a lot of phases uh, inside the Life 22, but it was Life that went into the half three points up. Um, so here we have Life catching the kickoff, and they'll look to exit that territory and get into Cal's half. And here we go. The clearance kick not going to touch into the hands of Shankland. Doesn't get it, and Lockyer. Getting smacked, and that's a knock-on. Coming in here, looking for some minutes. As the ball's in for life, and a big push on by the running Eagles. Out the back for Reese. And they get the penalty. The ball in. Finding Johnson, and the boys go to work. Tight unit, the running Eagles. Looking strong as they barrel over the line. The Bears aren't going to stop them. And you it might look like, oh, and it's a try. The referee awards the try. It looks like a penalty try. The ref's running underneath the post. And I think he's given a penalty try there. So I wonder if the grounding didn't actually happen. Um, but the referee has decided that there was a, an infraction preventing the try. Uh, and therefore, it's a penalty try for life. The ball in. Nice passing on the spin move off the top. And it's lost by the Bears. The kick downfield and the chase is on. Hearn coming back to field this. Backs on their feet. Dyer on Bobble inside. And the running Eagles push over in the tackle. Do they have the turnover? And it looks like they get the ball back. And what a change of events. Life University running Eagles being the aggressors here in the beginning of this second half. And looking for another score. The ball nails the line out, and they go to work in the mall here. The Bears doing everything they can to keep them out. The, the running Eagles pushing it over. Matunga out the back, fence off one, and gets it over and scores the try. The bump off and the dot down from Brian Matunga. Puts another score on the board for Life University. And that defensive stand from Life as a key turning point in this match. Having a look at it. Matunga nails the line out throw. The forwards go to work, and he's got the pill out the back. Finds a little bit of space on the outside to bump off and the power to keep his feet and dot over the line. Eagles line remains strong as a big hit comes up front. Looked like Torres. Now it looks like they're slowing it down in order to get the kick. They've, it's, the ruck is inside the 22, so he can kick directly for touch. Um, but the ball is up and doesn't reach touch. This will not go to touch, and a counterattack. Casano misses the tackle. And that's Julian Roberts on the sideline. The first half try score. Cal showed they could fight back. It's now life's turn to show, hey, you can score two tries, but we're going to come back at you straight after. And it all came from the kickoff going out the back of the end zone. This one staying inside. 
Severance getting a fend, trying to stay inside, but the freshman falls off the cliff and goes into touch. Freshman frustrated with himself, and here it is, the fend trying everything he can to push up off that touch line, but it looks like that was number 14, Connor Mooneyham doing exactly what Life needed to do and pulling the runner into touch and getting the turnover for his squad. Life now with the opportunity to answer back. The throw from Matunga out to the back and hits Johnson in the back of the line. What a throw, what a catch. Life going to work in the mall. Maintaining their shape as Ascaro barrels back into it. Looks and like it, they're playing advantage here for life. So life have a have an opportunity and the penalty has been given. So life penalty. And it's crazy how matches swing on such small moments. Looking to add a little bit of fresh legs, a little bit of power to battle this life forward pack as they go to work again with the push. And getting pushed back are the Bears. They need to join this. Life moving forward out the back to Reese. Reese to Wheeler. Wheeler steps inside. Gets hit by an inside defender. That was, looks like Mirisham. And again, in the hands of O'Day. Threatening the line. Life looking for the go ahead score. Wheeler barreling in in the strike run. Gets hit just outside the line. The, the skip pass out the outside. Nobody in front of him. The winger, Connor Mooney, have scores in the corner for life. And they go ahead by one with a kick in the corner. Life responds with seven minutes left in this final. Uniam, he'd made the key defensive play, dragging the Cal flanker into touch, and now he gets on the end. A nice skip pass to catch the ball and touch the ball down. Cal defense making them work, but then just getting pulled in, sucked in, and there was no one out wide in front of Mooneyham, and he's able to touch the ball down. And life fullback Mitch Wilson taking this kick, so you wonder if Van Skogvijk is not, not able to take the kick. Um, so Mitch Wilson coming up for this crucial touchline conversion. The ball is up and it looks good from our angle and it's over and it's good. It's a beautiful kick, absolutely perfect. Coming through in the big moment, the captain saying, hey, I'm going to knock this one over for my guys. Quick ball to Walsh. Walsh and trying to, oh, and a big hit coming in from life. The referee's time here. The 22 is deep, going back into the hands of Sam Walsh. The ball to the side and this is it. Lockyer going straight up, one mistake and it's over. The Bears go to work, this is it. The ball at the back, the skip back, doesn't go to hand behind Dyer, that's not what you want. Life, defensive line come up as the Bears work backwards to their 22. 80 meters to go to the try line. Escaro barreling forward. Out the back to Walsh, Andrade. Skip pass in the hand, in the Roska, Roska can't handle it. Johnson! Johnson goes into touch, and that's the final, ladies and gentlemen, Life University. The Running Eagles win the D1A National Championship in brave and emphatic fashion by three points over the California Golden Bears. the joy on these players faces as they embrace each other the life running eagles the 2019 rugby d1a national champions get the job done in santa clara and bring the championship back home to marietta congrats mitch awesome stuff way to come through at the end what do you think the difference was in that match I was really just fighting forward to the end. Uh, Cal picked up a bit of momentum there, and I was just shifting that momentum and making sure we were able to get some points back on the board towards the end of the game. So credit to the boys for fighting all, all through 80, uh, and credit to the substitutes that came on early in the game due to a few injuries. Really stepped up today, so it was great. Absolutely. Goal line defense, another theme. Right from the beginning of the match to the end, really very impressive. Uh, is there anything you'd put that down to? Uh, just really just championship rugby, uh, you know, when you come out here for a national championship, you got to be be ready to fight, be ready to defend your own goal line, and that's what we did today, so really proud of the boys, and, you know, credit to Cal as well, huge improvement this year, and, you know, to, to push us like that, that was really great, so good stuff to Cal. Absolutely, very impressive, congrats to Mitch Wilson and life, awesome stuff on the repeat. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it. All that they needed to do to bring that championship home back to Marietta. 
Down the sideline. Captain Senior Award from Kevin Bottle. And there they all are at Life University. Running Eagles for 2019 Rugby D1A National Champions. Amazing performance from those men. Getting the job done in a classic of a rugby national championship match. Great play by both sides. The Eagles getting it done. Happy for those men and the man of the match getting some love and attention there. And the boys will celebrate all the way back home. Long flight back to Marietta, but a good one.